Hi, I'm Fiona from the Institute of Imagination and I'm an artist who loves nature. Making your own natural inks is a wonderful way of enjoying and celebrating nature. All you need are some kitchen scraps, a bit of science and imagination. Most paints can be harmful to the environment and take a long time to decompose. By using the vegetable scraps you have in your kitchen and plants from the nature around you, you're being kind to the environment and a creative artist. When it's dinner time, save some of your leftover chopped up vegetables and skins. The more colourful the vegetable, the better ink it will make. Treasure hunt outside to find other soft natural things to create colours from too. Make sure you always ask permission first before taking something and wash your hands afterwards. Let's talk about a few techniques you can use to make your own natural colours. Make sure you have a grown-up around you to help you and we'll put a sticker in the corner to remind you when you need one. Test out chopping and mashing. Vegetables, fruit, leaves and flower petals can all be chopped into small pieces to release their colour. You can then mash the small pieces so they start to become liquidy. Add a little water to make up your colour mixture. Get experimenting with grinding. Have a look out for soft powdery pebbles, charcoal and bark. These can all be ground down into small particles using a hard stone and a hard surface. Have a look in your kitchen cupboard too. You might find there are already some ground up spices you can experiment with. Add a little water to the powder and stir it into a mixture. Some natural materials can be boiled in water first to help bring out their colour. When you've chopped up your vegetable scraps or flower petals, give them a stir in a little boiling water, then leave to cool down. If you have a lumpy mixture, strain the liquid into a different pot. Now you have your own natural inks. But because our ingredients are natural, this means they can also decompose. To make your inks last a bit longer, add in some honey. Experiment with changing the colours of your inks by adding in an acid such as vinegar or lemon juice or try using an alkaline like bicarbonate of soda. When your colours are ready, it's time to start using them. Why not paint a picture to tell the story of your vegetable plant or rock and how it became something different? Or use your inks to create a picture of something you love in nature. You could also experiment by dyeing fabrics with your inks, like reviving an old t-shirt. When you've finished your masterpiece, put any leftover inks outside on some soil to compost, letting them return to nature and become part of something else. If you haven't got some of these things at home, why not ask your school kitchen or talk to your teacher about doing this project with your class? We would love to create a gallery of your artwork, so please send us your natural ink pictures using the links below. Thank you.